what I'm going to talk about in this video is the problem of aliasing which is inherent in any sampled digital system and can be made dramatically apparent uh, on a digital oscilloscope. So what you see here on the screen is this uh, low frequency sine wave a few tens of hertz and as you can see it's kind of jittery, it's jumping around. Um, to figure out what's going on I'm going to bump up my time base setting and instantly you can see that things are not quite what they seem uh, by just uh, I've changed it from 25 to 10 milliseconds per division and it looks like it's a fairly high frequency and as you can see this apparently low frequency sine wave is really a source signal of a little over 10 kilohertz and so let me go back to my original slower time base again and there you see the low frequency sine wave. Uh, so to figure out what's going on, let's go to the uh, user manual of the TDS-200 series oscilloscopes. And there you can see that for the time base setting of 25 milliseconds, a uh, sampling frequency of 10 kilohertz is specified uh, with the corresponding uh, signal frequency of 5 kilohertz. So what's going on here is a classic case of aliasing. Uh, as you can see, for a source signal of a little more than the sampling frequency, it's going to get aliased back down uh, to seem like it's a really low frequency, which is what you see here. So there you have it. Uh, always exciting to see it in action after reading up the theory in DSP textbooks.